Hello friends, this video on cell part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we are going to talk about the third important component of a cell that is cytoplasm. So cyto means cell and plasm means a fluid. So the fluid which is present inside the cell. So fluid inside the cell enclosed by the plasma membrane is called cytoplasm. So plasma membrane is nothing but the cell membrane. So that fluid is called cytoplasm. So this cytoplasm's composition is almost 80% water, 80% of it is water and since it has more water so obviously its viscosity is less. It is something like, uh, for example, what is viscosity? Uh, example, just think of honey. So if you take honey and if you take water, now which is more sticky? So honey appears more sticky. So this stickiness is a measure of viscosity. So the more the more sticky the fluid is, the more viscous it is. Similarly, the less sticky the fluid is, the less viscous it is. So honey is very viscous when compared to that of water. So cytoplasm is less viscous because it has more water. So presence of more water makes it less viscous. It is also termed as cystosol. So that is just another name for cytoplasm because it is like cytosolution. So that's how it is cytosol. So here if you look at the animal cell, so this entire fluid which is present inside the cell is cytoplasm. And in this cytoplasm are present all the different cell organisms. It is something like a fluid is present and on that different other organisms are floating. So that's how it is. Many cell organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm. So organelles are like fixed in the cytoplasm at specific locations. So let us quickly look at the significance of cytoplasm. It contains dissolved nutrients. So whatever nutrients is needed by the cell for its survival, they are all present in dissolved form in the cytoplasm because cytoplasm is available to all the cell organelles. So they can utilize the nutrients. It dissolves waste products. Now, it not only provides the useful substances to the cell components, it also extracts out or it takes out all the waste products from the cell. So these waste products are also taken out of the cell by in the dissolved form in cytoplasm. Organelles embedded in cytoplasm performs a specific function without which the cell cannot function as a whole. Now each of these cell organelles which you see are present here, they all play a very vital role. Some of them pro provides energy to the cell, some of them help in storage of food material, some of them helps in packaging of food material. So each of them have a different purpose. But all of them are very very important even without any one of them the cell will not be able to survive and these organelles are supported by the cytoplasm controls the shape of the cell to an extent because it is the fluid which is present throughout inside so if the amount of the fluid changes then the shape of the cell might also get varied so that is it, to some extent it controls the shape of the cell helps in cellular respiration. So there are a couple of non-soluble molecules which are present and which keeps floating in the cytoplasm. So some small molecules are present. So these molecules help in the process of cellular respiration. What is cellular respiration? Respiration is that process in which food is oxidized to produce energy. Because all of us eat food. Why do we eat food? Because our body needs energy. So why our body needs energy? To perform various activities. Now these activities at the base level is performed by each and every cell of our body. So that means each cell inside our body, they are doing some work. So that means they need some energy. So when we eat food, the food gets digested and then it is absorbed by different cells of the body. So each cell, they absorb the food and then they generate energy out of that food. So this process is called cellular respiration where food that is glucose is oxidized. That is glucose in presence of oxygen, it is converted into a lot of energy and this energy is then utilized by the cell for performing various activities. So that is how cytoplasm helps in cellular respiration because these molecules which help in the process of cellular respiration, they are also present in the cytoplasm. 
Now, when we are talking about cytoplasm, it is also very important to clarify about protoplasm because many a times people get confused. They think that cytoplasm and protoplasm they mean the same thing, but that is not the case. So, protoplasm is an even broader term. So, protoplasm is the living substance of a cell. So, cytoplasm is just the fluid which is present inside the cell, but protoplasm is cytoplasm plus nucleus. So, cytoplasm along with nucleus, they form protoplasm. So, this that means everything that is present inside the cell is protoplasm. So, that is why it is called the living substance of a cell is protoplasm. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.